Um, hello, my name is Mario, and I will be showing you guys how to make your iPod video 5.5 generation or 5 generation into a soon. Um, I'm not taking any credit for like the firmware files that we that we will be downloading, but and I'm not taking like any responsibility if you screw up your iPod or something like that happens, but. You, you don't have nothing to lose really like it's all like if something bad does happen to your iPod you can always restore it from iTunes so um as I said this this tutorial will be for the 5th generation iPod and 5.5 generation iPod so first of all open your your like internet then go to go to google.com and then google and then search for iPod wizard iPod wizard um iPod wizard and search then then download this one right here the one that says get the one that the one that iPod Wizard, this one right here, and then, and then right here, it's this one right here, getting the best out of your iPod, go to Downloads, Download, and then, get the latest version right here, iPod Wizard version 1.3, so then, I already have it, so I'm not going to download it, then the second link that you should go to go to free web free web free web dot com slash the islander one slash so that's www dot free web dot com slash T H E I S L A N D E R one. So then go there. Then it should look like this. Best of your iPod. So then see right here in the right here. And when it says downloads, click there. And then then it's right here. If you have the five generation iPod. So I'm going to get the one the soon. So if you have the 5th generation iPod, that's the one that's the one that doesn't have search. Download that. If you have the 5.5 generation iPod, that's the one that ha that has search. Download that one. So depending on your iPod, it's your decision right there. So I have the 5.5 generation iPod, so I already have that. So I'm not going to download it. So then after you've downloaded um iPod Wizard right click on it and then extract all the files to your desktop it's easy if you extract them to your desktop then open it and then see the one that the one that has the little hat open on that one like click on it and then it should be like this and then um after you've finished like after the down the soon download the firmware download they downloaded like finishes right click on it and then extract them to your desktop and then yeah it's easier if you extract into your desktop so this is what iPod Wizard looks like very simple see right here in the corner in the left corner on the edit mode click on firmware file and then open firmware and then depending on where you save your your firmware file that you downloaded click on that and then little green box be like this be sure to have iTunes or anything that's working with iPod closed it's recommended that you close old programs but yeah just be sure to have iTunes closed so, then that. so now you can plug in your iPod see here's my iPod so now I'll plug in your iPod. Here, hold on.
And then see right here in the corner where it says iPod Essentials. No iPod found. You should like wait for like 30 seconds until it finds your iPod. So after it's doing its thing. But as I said, I'm not taking any credit for these guys' work. They do like a great job at doing these hacks for iPods. So yeah. Um, here my computer's a bit slow. Don't get a Sony Vio, they suck. And they're overpriced, so yeah. Sony Vio suck. Um, here I'll look. It takes a while, depending on your computer. Sorry for my computer slowness. It's really slow. Okay. So then it detected my iPod. See right there. And then like this, it should look like this. And then after you're done with that, see right here. Click to right to iPod. Don't click on right, but click on right to iPod. Um, so then little warning sign should come up. Then click yes. And then it says writing iPod firmware to disk. Um, like you really don't have nothing to lose. I myself was like when I first did this, I was really scared, but there's like nothing to be scared of so there it goes iPod wizard successfully written the modded firmware to your iPod so then click OK and then right here in the corner click click eject and then your iPod should eject so So then, you gotta wait for your iPod. Do not disconnect it. It's gonna restart. Don't get freaked out. You, you have nothing to get freaked out of. So then, after you finish restarting and all that. So, after it's doing its, it's, doing its thing right now. So then, it's starting. So it's right there. You have a soon on your iPod. Simple as that. So, thank you for watching my video.